This video is to give you a brief overview of the math lecture and tutoring rooms. Please refer to the schedule posted in your classroom for the complete list of links and times. When you click on a link, you'll come to a room that looks like this. You see I'm in the Math 101 lecture room. You're going to log in as a guest, so make sure the guest is showing here. Do not click on registered user because then you'd be asked for a username and password. Just make sure you click on guest and type in your first and last name uh, so it shows up on the attendance roster. Then click enter room. Now sometimes you will log directly into the room. Sometimes you will be put in a holding room. Um, and the instructor may have to let you in. So you may see a message, uh, something like the meeting hasn't started yet. But once you enter the room, you'll see a few different boxes. Here you'll see the instructor will be sharing something, um, whether it be a PowerPoint, uh, it might be a whiteboard, might be a notebook here. Uh, the instructor can write on this as they explain. And you'll also hear the instructor's voice. The instructor will use their microphone so you can hear while they show you. The instructor may also have their video camera on so you can see them. And you can communicate here through the chat. Now, if you do ask a question, the instructor may stop and answer it, may not. There will be supporting instructors in the room to field the chat bar for questions in case any questions are asked. Um, and the instructor may choose to start a private chat with you. You will see a little box pop up below the chat bar. It'll be um, kind of orange in color. When you click on it, you'll be in a private chat with the instructor who is asking or helping you. Um, now this is the same room or one of the same rooms that we'll use for tutoring as well. So in the tutoring, um, there pro won't be as many students in the room, so the instructors may allow students to use their microphones. So in that case, um, you would see the instructor will probably ask you if you want to use the microphone. If you say yes, then what they'll do is send you a microphone and you'll see a little pop up down here. You can click speak now um, or you'll see a microphone up here and it'll be white. You have to click on it to turn it green and then from there you can speak. So um, in tutoring, there's usually less students and the instructor will speak to you so you don't have to communicate through the chat board. But in the live lectures, there's probably going to be a, more students, so communication will mostly be done through the chat bar. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.